Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing streamer tails. These hummingbirds get their common name because the males of both species have long, streaming tails. Some sources suggest that red-billed and black-billed streamer tails should be considered the same species, and for a long time they were. However, most authorities now separate them due to their differences. As their name suggests, red-billed streamer tails have red on their bills compared to the black-billed's entirely black beak. They also have a different call and mating dance. When male streamer tails perch, their long tail feathers often cross each other, which has given rise to their other common names. Streamer tails are also known as doctor birds, for the old-time coat tails of doctor uniforms. They're also called scissor birds due to their crossed tail feathers like crossed scissor blades. These hummingbirds are endemic to the island of Jamaica. They only occur naturally in that single part of the world. In fact, streamer tails are some of the most commonly seen birds on the island, and they've been named Jamaica's national bird. The red-billed streamer tail lives across most of the island, while the black-billed streamer tail is confined to the northeast part of the island, where the red-billed streamer tail no longer resides. Streamer tails are sexually dimorphic. The males and females appear different from one another. Aside from the long tail feathers in males, the boys also boast a bit more color. Both male and female streamer tails are green with a black head, but females have a paler chest and stomach. Not including their tail feathers, which can just about double the length of their body, these hummingbirds reach about three and a half inches long. Like all hummingbirds, they zip through the air, living life in the fast lane. The male's streamers actually make a humming sound while they fly. While in flight, these birds may grab insects and spiders from the air, plants, or even webs. This is especially true of females who need to provide their babies a high-protein diet. Streamer tails mate year-round, although they're most likely to produce a nest between January and June. The male puts on a display, enticing the female with his fancy feathers. If she accepts, they'll mate and then part ways. It's likely they both have multiple partners throughout the year. The female constructs the nest out of animal material, such as fur, and plant material, such as moss, which helps with camouflage. She'll lay two bean-sized white eggs in the nest and incubate them for about two to three weeks. The chicks hatch and only stick around for another three weeks before setting off on their own. Streamer tails can produce multiple broods in a single year if they have enough resources to do so. While insects provide necessary protein for growing offspring, the bulk of the streamer tail's diet is high-energy flower nectar, which helps supplement their active lifestyle. In a single second, a streamer tail can lick nectar from a flower up to 13 times. These birds most frequently take from tubular flowers that other pollinators, such as bees, cannot is easily access, which means streamer tails can be the primary pollinators of some of the plants around the island. They live from forests to suburban backyards, enjoying whatever tasty treats they can find in their environment. Plus, they're super protective of their food. Like other hummingbirds, streamer tails are territorial and will aggressively chase off another member of their species to ensure they have access to the best food around. They'll even scare away bumblebees if it means keeping their pantry full. For more facts on streamer tales, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpeagle93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.